Welcome to the Triple Threat Podcast. My name is William Mizell, and alongside me is the ever-present Mikhail Vaught. Sorry for the lack of uh, podcast this week. It's been busy with travel and all, but we're back, and the show's better than ever. Um, we're introducing a new topic or a new uh, segment in the show. Uh, we want to get your opinions on sports right now. Ask any questions you have. We will answer all of them in the next episode. Just drop it down in the comments below, and we will respond to it. Whatever you think. Uh, what we think about your team, just let us know and we'll answer it. We'll answer all of your questions. Um, but moving on to some more, more recent news, um, it has emerged that Urban Myers lied during the press day about his defensive coordinator's um, domestic violence. So what are your thoughts on that, Mikhail? Yeah, He's such a great coach, especially for that university. And when he denied it, I mean, it was obviously disappointing for all of the Ohio Ohio State fans and all of the Ohio State, um, the all of the Ohio State staff, especially for Zach Smith. It's obviously disappointing for a great defensive coordinator producing guys like Marshawn Lattimore, Denzel Ward, and when Urban Meyer is put on the paid administrative leave, that is saying something. Something because he's been one of their best coaches for so long and who knows when he would have stopped but right now I think it's gonna it's time for Urban Meyer to leave the university but who knows what will happen it's honestly just really disappointing and tough to tough to talk about I mean he should have come out to the authorities when he heard about the situation because he later he later admitted that he did lie and that he did know that it was going on but I just think is that he should have taken this responsibility. I don't think this is a fireball and offense. I think that Ohio State get over this. Urban Meyer made this program relevant again. You can't just um, dismiss a guy like that. Uh, he's so important to the state. And uh, I just think that it, it would be dumb for them to let him go. Like You saw how Ohio State put him on administrative leave. They didn't. They didn't just let, they're paying him while they're looking at it. They're not just going to be like, okay, we're going to let our investigation do what they're going to do. We're not going to pay you during this, but they're paying him. So they're definitely going to keep him on for the long run. They got four weeks till the season starts. I think they're, they'll get over this. They won't make the top four and make the playoffs, but it's a program and they're going to, uh, they're a great. Well, but I kind of think of this as a, um, uh, kind of a little ramped up version of um bounty gate uh the saints defensive coordinator uh paying his players to injure players but the thing is sean payton later came out and said he takes responsibility for it because i'm the head coach this happened in my team and that this shouldn't have happened urban myers hasn't taken that responsibility yet he hasn't owned up to yeah this is my fault that this happened i should have fired him a long time ago he just said yeah i lied Big deal. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And I don't think he'll come looking out of this so clean. It might hurt him getting a job in the future, but he's still a great coach. Yeah, and like you said, he hasn't admitted. He hasn't come out. He hasn't said, oh, this is my fault. He's just trying to protect his guy, but that's exactly what he has to do. He has to come out and say, all right, this is my fault. I'm going to take ownership. But he, he's just trying to protect. He's just trying to protect Zach Smith. And he said that it was a very tough call. And as you said, they put, put him on the paid administrative leave, not firing him yet. We, and honestly, I hope that he doesn't get fired. And don't get me wrong, he's, he's a great coach. I think, I think he will end up getting fired if he does not take responsibility for this action. But he should not get fired just because all he's done for the program, like you said, he's, make the, he's made them relevant. Again, producing great guys. Uh, JT Barrett, who is now with your New Orleans Saints, Will, and plenty of great defensive players and offensive players, Ezekiel Elliott, Marshawn Lattimore on the defensive side, and Denzel Ward. So you can't forget about what this guy has done for the university. So uh, it's, it's a tough call for Ohio State, but we'll see what will happen in the next four weeks. And uh, there might be developments by the time you're watching this, but as of time of recording, he has not apologize uh, he's not um taking make sure to watch the whole episode four of the triple threat podcast on your screen right now make sure to, to subscribe and let me know your questions in the comments below signing off from atlanta georgia William Zell.